Okay, so this is my pose with a black underwear. Now, see it? Now, this is my pose with a white underwear. Do you see the difference? <laughs> Welcome back to Vintage Uprising Texas for another haul video. Uh, wow, we have a lot. We have a lot. We went Saturday and Sunday to estate sales, all estate sales I think, and an antique place, a hole in the wall, a hole in the wall antique store. So this will be broken up in a couple of videos because there's a lot here. We're gonna see if David stays around to help. No, I'm just timing this because <laughs> you said you wanted to. I'm gonna time it. You'll see the timer right here. Oh, that's wonderful. Wonderful. See, I'm wonderful. Okay, what we're gonna start with? Let's start with some. Is this in random order? Oh, Let's now it's everything? in random. Okay. It's, you know, I'm not gonna say that it was from a certain estate sale. You know, it's no big deal. Let's start off with a bang, shall we? What's the bang? That's a bang. Oh, here's a bang. This is a bang. Look at this. We found a little candle holder. It holds a candle. I'm gonna put a Lucite candle in here. I think I'm gonna keep it. It's orange. I don't know what, what this is though. I didn't look it up yet. David, we'll, you forgot to look it up. We'll figure it out. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep it, I think. Got a good deal on it too. So cute. Is it cute? Yes, it's cute. It's really tall. It's about this big. Next. <laughs> How about this cool vase? There are markings on here. A black marker markings. Don't know what that is. But look at it. It's like a pebbled, pebbled rock vase with the rose and then it opens into a flower on the other side. Really nice vase. Is it not? I like how the, the handle's on here. And it's blue on the inside. That's a pretty color. Again, don't know what this means. What does those markings mean, Dave? Signature. A signature of mm -hmm. some sort. And it looks good. Yep. It looks good. Go trimming. Can you tell the design on here? It's like pebbled rock. I thought it was pretty, so I picked it up. Don't know nothing about it. He's gonna be my handoff man today. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. The handoff man. Less than 20 minutes, mm -hmm. Okay, so look, I found this, and I wouldn't have known anything about this until I did that um, bingo thing on Instagram. And I didn't know what this was, so I had to look it up and and saw this on Instagram. I forgot what it's called already. What was it called? We looked it up. I know, but I forgot. <laughs> but it's little vases. And then, lo and behold, we went to an estate sale and I found one. So now I have one. She's probably passed up maybe 10 of them. I didn't know what they were. So, it's plastic. It holds... Four? Four. I thought there was another one here. I was like, did it break? But... It's four. I've seen them much bigger too, so pretty cool. I'll I won't be keeping it. I'll put it in a live cell. And oh, David, you found that? Yep. <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> another, another L. E. Smith trophy vase again, black glass. Waiting for a new home. Coming to Wednesday's live sale. Mm. This beautiful green colored bird with the brown. It has 
green, brown, blue, all kinds of pretty colors. The flowers on the branch, the stump, and it is from Occupy Japan. If not gonna focus, but pretty bird. Then we have a glass elephant. Clear glass elephant. And a glass bunny. With blue, blue, blue belly bunny. A blue belly bunny. There's no maker models on these. I don't know what this little guy is. Little stone you mouse. The class. You forgot the glass ducky. The stone mouse. He has a leather tail and leather ears. And he has little hose on his belly. So, what does that mean? But he's cute, right? Little hand painting on him. We have a little bird or duck. Glass of uneasiness. Glass of uneasiness. Just something different. Controlled said, bubbles. A different emotion. Different. <laughs> have another beaded angel. Isn't she pretty? This one's a tall one. Taller than the other ones I've had. Like a wedding dress kind of thing, but I think it's an angel. Look. That's an angel. It's an angel. Or she's just a bride that's like, let's get on with this wedding. And what, were, what would these be? Her little hands up front, her halo on top. Very cute, very cute. Fun, fun, fun stuff. Old pie bird. Old. This came out of which so? Um, this was buried, wasn't it? No, it's sitting on a shelf in that back room at that estate sale. Hmm. Um, what is this? Oh, okay. And yeah, look that's... at these cute little guys. And then next we have this mommy dog with her two baby poodles. Not poodles. They're not poodles. Just chocolate dogs. They're, could be, could be Cocker Spaniels. They're brownware, brown redware, red redware. Red <laughs> Made from Japan. It says Mark Japan. Brownware. <laughs> Chocolateware. Aren't they cute? Look at them eyes. Little twinsies here. It has a, um, I don't know how this, it has a pipe cleaner holding on the chains. He's a cutie. Then we have a green elephant planter. Looks like a project piece signed on the bottom with a year. He's a fun little guy. Smiling. And what do y'all think this is? It's a glass piece. I assume it holds a candle, that opening. Nice art glass piece, green and white. I don't know what that is. Marking. Some marking on it, but I don't know what that means. Just, I don't know if this is just art glass, what, but I love the, the caramel of the green and white in there. Very pretty. Looks like a Japanese storage box, maybe Chinese, made out of real light wood. It's got um, different characters on the side. Could be astrology, not sure. But very decorative. Fun box. And then I have, we have this Gorgeous little poodle. Not, I mean, a weenie dog. I don't know why I keep saying poodle. It's a weenie dog. Glass, blue glass. Dachshund. Dachshund. Silver. Silver head, silver toe. And tail. I don't know if there's a marking on it. I can't read that. 
and nor will you be able to because my camera will not focus. So I'm going to get my magnifying glass out and look later. It's really cute. Look how large it is. Nice. I see it better there. Can I hold on to his tail? Pretty blue glass. There's a handcrafted, uh, looks like a trinket dish. Mm -hmm. Probably hand guess. painted as well. Uh, it's more handcrafted in Thailand. Pretty, pretty on your on the shelf. Pink beak. And here's an unusual frog. This is a frog. Uh, it's not marked. But inside, there it is. It's a frog. But Tammy collected all her frogs. I'm surprised she passed this up. But it won't fit in my window. It will not fit in her window. My window. But probably pass that along in the cell. Also, at an estate sale, I found this um, Art Deco Bisque. Is that American Bisque? Is it American Bisque? I don't know, but it's Bisque Phil. That Bisque yeah, feels like Bisque. This young lady sitting on a pedestal. Yeah, some type of loose site. I mean, I don't know. I, I haven't looked it up yet, so. Yeah. Clam top. I don't know. Could hold hairpins, trinkets, bobby pins, writing pins. It worked for a desk, <laughs> bathroom, dresser, cotton balls. I mean, it'll work on any station. Very nice. You name it. Mm -hmm. Very cute piece. Now let's see if this makes a difference. One, two, two, three, th three. <laughs> we have to do all of that again. We're gonna do it over. No. <laughs> Come on, you got this. Did I finish this? Yes. Try it again. Okay. We'll have this little pink trinket cameo dish with the gold. Is that go, called gold gilding? Gold uh, paint so. around yeah. it. And then the edges. It have the cherub babies around Very the Very ornate. Edges. Very cute. And it does have a sticker on here, but it looks pretty worn. It's hard to read. So... That dot. Your little estate sale purse. Oh, this little cute little purse. I mean, it looks like a child's purse, but it's a little grandma purse. Isn't it? Isn't it cute? And what I loved about these vintage purses, they always have lots of pockets. Look at the pockets. The snaps. Crackle and pop. I figure out how to do the snap. Snap the zipper pocket here, zipper, and another pocket here. Nice Oops. cute cute little purse. What is that? Brown? It's brown. Brown. Then we have um this Betty Crocker recipe card box in library. Y'all remember these? It's all right. It's all right. It's a nice full one. You would get these in the mail, a packet each month in the mail. There might be jello molds. <laughs> My mama had these. So, I think I got two of those now. Look, it's meow meow pillows. It's meow meow pillows. There's little twinsies here. And then we got some little loungy. Oh, there's the twinsies on that end. There they are. So, same fabric. 
and it has this nice silky fabric on the back. Pretty pillows. Nice just, throw pillows. Just in time to send to Grandma. And then we have this apron. Very bright, colorful apron. Has the pockets down the bottom. It has a pearl, a pearl snap. <laughs> One so, pearl snap. Yeah, it's hmm. loose in the back it looks like loose in the back with a pearl snap is that a dust coat maybe you should be modeling it david dust coat yeah it's a dust coat. what's a dust coat it's exactly what you have on right now okay this would bother me well, i don't like things what? next to my neck well, here's my sticker yeah this pocket needs to be sewn Hey, project yeah. for somebody. Pocket needs to be fixed. Just found that out. But I love the colors. Aren't they bright and vibrant? I would say this is a medium size. Medium to large. So. Ooh, and then we got some books. Books, Roxanne. Books. Kitchenology. Kitchenology with what? Principia. Friends. What's Kitchenology Principia? with Principia friends? What does that mean? Prince, well, let's look, shall Prince, we? Principia. So it's in 1933. Cute on the inside. Oh, look at the cute little clip art in there. So, the index is in the front. Is that weird? Oh, so it has like a little repair, I guess, taped in there. What's well, an old book? It is an old book. It has cocktails, soups, um, entrees and lunch dishes, bread, sandwiches, beverages, meats. Veggies, salads, pies, frozen desserts, desserts, cakes, cookies, jellies, and pickles. Candies, favorite recipes from the Prince, Prince, Principia Kitchens, and an alphabetical list of contributors. Fun, fun. Jellies and pickles. Jellies and pickles. We show them these? Yeah, show them. We found these. Encyclopedia of head bases, head vases. Here you go. Identification book, guidebooks. Ah, there's soft. So we went to this one estate sale that had a ton of lady heads. Head vases. Head vases. But, um, Depression glass. By the time we got there, they were all gone. But she had all these books. Lefton. More head vases. Hole. This I can stir out all night. <laughs> and there's two more with depression glass, but I'm already reading those. Those are at my desk. Oh, those came with this stack? Yeah, they did. They sure did. Mm. What else? Is there anything else? Yes. There's a lot. There's a lot. And cute. And here's the bottle. Take me out to the ball game. Hey, cute. Show the logo. They button the shirt buttons to the shorts. Very vintage. I like the little belt buckle on here. I'm probably going to do a photo shoot with my grandbabies in this because I got another baseball outfit that's a little bit bigger. So we're going to, and we got vintage baseball gloves. So I'm going to probably do a photo shoot with that and then sell it. Gourd art. Look at this lady. She got her necklace. It's hand painted. I think your friends know what gourd art is. Very nicely done. This lady loved her gourds. Look at her. 
she could care less. Look at that face. And look at this one. It's a green Santa. It's a biggie. Look how big it is. This twig is in my face. Can you tell the size difference? Short, tall, skinny. This, I love this green Santa one. And then this one is my favorite. Will I give him up? I'm liking Santa's. And look, she painted a little doodad Santa on the top of his hat. Isn't that cute? Aren't these precious? And he's got the beard. See his gloves, his belt. Pretty big. <laughs> we'll just knock David right out of the camera. Here. Start with this box. We're still going. <laughs> and look at him. It's a paper mache Santa Claus. I don't know how old it is, but you know, I don't pass up Christmas stuff. Always pick up Christmas. Oh, and looky, you guys. Oh, it's a sleeping baby. Or is it? Oh, he woke up and he crying. He crying. Oh, wait, wait. I gave him his bottle. And now he's a happy baby. Gave him his bottle. He's happy. He's playing. And then he goes back to sleep. It's a three-faced baby. Look how big he is. That's creepy. <laughs> and it's so funny because I just sold one of these in my last sale. And I found another one. <laughs> so cute. And then we have this baby. And she lays down and her eyes close. Look her little felt dress. Isn't this adorable? So pretty. Look at that. Lacy dress and that pink trim. Very pretty. She's about this big. She's a plastic baby. Is it rubber or plastic? No, rubber. Um, kind of a rubber. Is that rubber or plastic? It's a plastic rubber? Plastic. Cute. She might visit us in our next cell and go popping in like this on y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. There'll be many faces doing this today on our next cell. <laughs> Moving along. Okay, and here we have these very pretty crochet stockings. Pretty long. The, I love how the, the colors and the flower. And there's three of them. These flowers or snowflakes? Very cute. This one might be a tad shorter than the other two. See? Very cute. Okay, I found this little plastic baby lady. But I think she had uh, strings that make her attached. The way the, the arms are. So she needs to be restrung. And she has little white shoes on. I don't know what it is about the tape around her belly here. Probably holding on her. Yeah, she has a little yeah. heart piece. I guess she stands For on this. Standing, yeah. But she was vintage. I picked her up. She just needs to be restrung, I guess. I found another Sears and Roebuck company magazine it's it's a reproduction but it's a pretty cool guide from the fall of 1900 
So, see, it was three ninety five back in the day. This was a cool find. These are one of those money little cards, and it has some very old dimes in there. What what years did I say? Uh, I think the earliest you had was 1926, 23, you had one earlier. 23. I was saying. Did you write just, them down? No, it's just three years older than my grandmother. So there's a 1923, some 1940s, and but look at the dime. What is? I don't know what kind of dime that is. It's a dime. I mean, um, aren't there? Uh, like here's a here's a newer dime. Yeah, the it's, older ones had, like, Lady Liberty on there. Is that what that is? A Lady Liberty? I don't know nothing about the coins. Me neither. It all spins the same. No. <laughs> Whatever. Don't spin Not those. these coins. So, I wish there was a, a 1920 in here. That would have been cool. Because that's my grandmother's year when she was born. This cute little baby book, Baby's First Christmas. And it's, it does have, it does have writing in it. It has been filled out. See, there's some writing in it. But it's really cute. And it had some cards in it. Now, it came out of a scrapbook. So, the back page is messed up because it was taped, taped down. See, it was taped down and apparently also glued down. So, but other than, I mean, it's still very pretty from aunt jesse and uncle brian he was four months what is this oh mark it was to mark very cute now this i found interesting it's a little scrapbook of magazines of babies, a bunch of babies. Now the front cover is coming off. It's going to be hard to show. Yeah, be careful. It's kind of hard to show. There's some loose pages in there. I haven't even flipped through all this yet. But there's a lot of pages of a art clip of, um, I mean, clip art of from baby magazines. I mean, baby pictures out of the magazines and maybe newspapers. I don't know. Really neat. So the binding is coming apart there. The top cover. But you can just put another cardboard binding on it. Well, it was stapled together. And glued this covered onto the new cover. Look at that. Anyways, there's several pages. This is kind of hard to show. Very hard to show. I hate holding it in the air like that. It's very fragile. Aww. So cute. Look at that baby on the piano. <laughs> Anyways, then we had this Halloween centerpiece. Now, I think this is vintage, but I'm not sure if all the pieces are there. I haven't checked yet, but there's some extra pieces in here as well. There are some cardboard moons. Several pieces of those. I just saw it and grabbed it because even if um, not all the pieces were there, there are some cute little die cuts in here. So I wanted to go ahead and get that. This it has. I don't know if these were supposed to be pumpkins. Well, I guess. the envelope's from 1979. 79. Yeah, so probably these die cuts are from 79. So it's not. Maybe it's not that old. That's old. It's not as vintage as a Christmas as I was hoping for. I was seven and eight, so it's <laughs> old. And then it had some of these, I don't know what this is. Oh, little pumpkin bags. 
probably those bags that you stuff with newspaper, I mean, uh, leaves or something. I had some fall leaves in here. It had the three little puffers that I showed you. I don't know. I'm going to have to try to put this together. The, I don't know if this is the, I don't know, the floor. For a pumpkin patch. Yeah, it goes on the bottom there. That's what it's supposed to look like, whatever it is. Some more moons, which I don't think that's part of it. That was just in there. And here is the scarecrow. But I don't know if these little pieces are in there or not for sure. I don't know. I'll have to check it out. And I will let you know if it's all there. Now i got a mess here. Next is a vase. And this is from... Oh, I looked it up. It's a Bavarian... Hand painted, very cute, and of course, look at the background. And our friend Mr. Al is on here. Mr. Al, look at those eyes. This will be in the next cell as well. Um, it's pretty old. There's there's somewhere on the bottom, which of course is being on the shelf. Um, That looks like it might be a little flea bite there, but it's under the glazing. So, real pretty hand painted piece. This you, is a. Do you know what that is? Joseph's original. Mm, yeah. Sounds like a candy. <laughs> like Werther's original? Yeah. Isn't she sweet? Look at her. Just. Waiting to have the bird cooked for some wings. So she's enjoying his company right before he goes into the oven. Not nice. Not <laughs> nice. And it's about this big. It's one of the taller ones. It's a cutie. She's a baby. Oh, we have another baby. Another baby. Woo! Woo! Not spooky at all, is he? Oh. He's a naked baby. He's got some crazy hair. He just came in the box, didn't he? Yes, he was in the box. A part of... You think this is weird? Just wait. Just wait and see what's next. What's next? These? <laughs> okay. Is it a little weird? Yeah, I don't think so. They're sock, sock dolls? Sock dolls. Sock dolls. Sock dolls. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Is it a little tacky, is it? Made from brothers and dad's sweaty socks. <laughs> On a little cardboard piece. Are these not cute? No, not that one yet. Show the other ones. Let's bring up all the sock family. That's not the sock family. He's made out of a sock. Well, those are the grandparents. Okay. These are the sock family. Woohoo! Woohoo! Hello, Betsy. Betsy. And that's Crazy Sue. Crazy Sue. And who's that? I don't know. Call him Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sock family. Are they cute? Are they not cute? It's a family bond sock. <laughs> yes. Come over and play with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> and here's the grandparents. Hi. How do you do? Grandpa Von Sock and Grandma Von Sock. 
Of course, I think this is actually a uh, dish bottle. I think it's a dish this, soap? Uh, yeah, dish soap bottle oh, inside. She might be missing a hat or something. Maybe one of them hats belonged to her since he's wearing a hat. I don't know what's inside of him. But aren't they cute? Look, the mailman's back. They're cute. They're responsible for that family over there, the Salk family. <laughs> and then there's like 30 of these little uh, vintage square um, fabric pieces. And they all have, well, maybe, I think they all have names in, inside of it. This is Mrs. Johnson. Then Sister Baby Wilson. Oh, look at him. JC has a little face on his. So I'm not going to go through all the names. Here's Scotty. But I think most all of these have a name in the center. So. What could we do with these? Is it okay that they have a name already? Mrs. Richardson, would you still buy these if they already have a name? Is there like 30 something of these? I think maybe like 32 or What's something. What's the material called? Well, are you going to ask me if it's feed sack? Yep. I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? I'm not sure if it's Some a... Some of that's feed sack. I'm sure it is, but I don't... It's hard to say without seeing the whole piece for me. For me, I can't say it's feed sack unless I see the whole piece to determine that it's feed sack. When it's already cut up, it's iffy. It's iffy for me. You can kind of feel, but I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure there are feed sacks in here if they're not all feed sacks material. Anyways, there's those. And we have another is this a wiener dog? It's got to be a wiener dog. What other Dachshund. dogs are this long? Dachshund wiener dogs. A teal one from New Orleans. I like his little hat. Isn't he cute? So, and then we have some ceramic. I had something similar to these once before. I don't know if they were the same design, color, or what, but found another set. These little ceramic butterflies. But you, here's the back. And there is a hand painted lasting productions made in the USA. There's a sticker on it. It has these pretty blue butterfly, I mean, butterflies, uh, flowers on there very cute I just like this a little it's hard to read this it, this is so tiny and also so light I don't have to get a magnifying for that one but this little bow with the painting on the inside and it had its own little ladle spoon isn't that cute The spoon has writing on the back too. Okay, this don't work well like my external camera over there. The closer you get to the phone, it just distorts it. And it has little feeties. And the feeties are even painted. Yeah. Got some gold painting on the feeties. So cute. But isn't this a very pretty water decanter? You put on your nightstand, nightstand or on your uh, bathroom sink. You could put a mouthwash in here. You water next to the bed. So 
so pretty. Ooh. This is so pretty. And it feels real good. <gasps> Look what just came in, y'all. No, it's not for sale. He's teasing, y'all. That goes to my owl collection. <laughs> and then I got one of these powder dishes that... Um, a couple of the girls just had one of these. Um, I know Martha did, and I think someone else did. But it's one of those uh, powder. Is that pewter? I don't, I don't know, but it's a gray color. It feels like some kind of metal, and it has the wood feet. But this one is missing its turning knob for the music box. So I don't know if the music box works or not. But look at that little, pretty little design. little powder display I mean it doesn't look like it hold that much powder so anyhow it was a cutie then we have these blue cobalt blue planters pot holders not pot holders they're not a pot holders no. it's not gonna hold a pot it is a pot Planter. Plant holder. Why do we always call them pot holders? You do. <laughs> no one else does. I think I remember my family calling them that. Nice blue. Cobalt blue. Bright, shiny blue glass. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, that's all we're going to show you for this one. We're going to shut this one down and start a new one. Shut it down. Because <laughs> we have a whole nother pile to show. And mm -hmm. the last time I did this, it took an hour. So, anyways, we're going to part two next. Part two. See you at part two. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, and share with three friends. Is that how it goes? Yeah, that's how they do it. That's how the kids do it these days. <laughs> so, come back and see the next haul. We'll see you then. Bye, y'all. Five, four, three, three two, one. one. If you click that and click that subscribe button click up there, there and then clip, click, clip, give a big, big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Bye. Bye.